Hello and welcome to Auto Inform Online Magazine. My name is Frank Massey and in this toolbox feature I'd like to take a look at some of the other opportunities that a diagnostic technician has potentially in his inventory. Quite often we've spoken about electronic measurement, mechanical measurement using verniers and micrometers. One of the biggest challenges I think sometimes is noise or, or assessment of, of a particular noise. How many times have we driven down the road trying to assess a wheel bearing, suspension noise, or even a mechanical noise that's not even been identified? So in this feature, I'd like to discuss and present an acoustic diagnostic aid or tool. And it's quite an interesting one. I'd like to just, just show you an example of its possibilities on this particular engine. First of all, the tool comprises of up to four channel transmitters, so each channel has a, a unique frequency. The device is mounted in the vicinity of where noise is expected. Obviously, if the, the, the location of noise is not been identified, you may need to move these around. They're magnetic. They have a, a clip attached. I think, being honest, I was going to attach this, say, to a suspension leg. I'd put a tie wrap around it for security. So the, the location uh, can vary. The, um, the way in which the tool is intended to use is that each channel is unique. So you can place several of these devices in an area that you're, you're trying to examine and identify noise, and then switch from one channel to another until you basically hone in on the, the, the noise source. I'd like to demonstrate this on two components. One is an injector, and the other is the mechanical functionality of the camshaft and tappets. So I'm going to choose two transmitters. The reception device is obviously a receiver. The headphones fit into a <clears throat> three and a half millimeter jack, and the channels are selected individually, obviously, because you're listening to individual sound noise, simply by depressing the channel number and the amount of sensitivity is essentially uh, a volume control. Simple device, let's see what we're able to achieve. When we do detect in, uh, a sound noise, what I'm going to do is take the headphones off and just place them near the microphone so that you can actually experience the type of uh, reception that, that I'm, I'm obviously picking up through the headphones. First device on an injector. <coughs> Obviously, if I was going to drive this vehicle, that would be secure. It wouldn't just be sat there. I'm going to place one device just on top of the, the camshaft housing. Three and a half millimeter jack. And you'll have to excuse this whilst I set the sensitivity up. Right, it was as quick as that. First of all, I'm listening now to the, the uh, channel two. Channel two is on top of the, um, the camshaft housing. And I've even left the engine cover in place. So obviously the, the location um, is determined by accessibility and opportunity. Um, but the devices are quite sensitive. So what I'd like to do, I'm listening now to uh, mechanical functionality within the, the camshaft housing. And if I place that, and I'm sure I can't quite get this to my ear at the same time. Yes, I can. So you can see that has a unique frequency and, and, a, and a, a very discernible, audible sound. Now, if I switch to channel one, which is the injector, now that is quite obviously a different frequency and a different sound source completely. Now, I think you'll agree that even that simple demonstration opens up a huge number of possibilities when diagnosing mechanical noise. Um, we've certainly been challenged with suspension noises in the past, wheel bearings. Um, it could be attached to the centre of the road wheel where there are less dynamic forces, less, less centrifugal forces to detect a wheel bearing noise, a suspension strut, braking noise. Um, we have used this to monitor noise on, on chassis uh, based problems. 
It's the first time I've ever used it on an engine. It's actually quite effective. So I think in terms of opportunity for a technician, acoustic uh, signatures, uh, audible acoustic signatures, are a very, very valuable tool. Of course, it can also be done electronically, but that's, that's perhaps another subject for another magazine. But um, for me, uh, a valuable tool. Um, it's in the inventory of, 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 of what we have and rely on. And I hope you found this presentation uh, very informative. If you're interested in developing your diagnostic skills, please visit the AutoInform or ADS website for our DVD, face-to-face -face, and online training programs.